All right, thanks for tuning back into part two of the uh, capacitor uh, capacitor repair. Um, in the last video, it looks like we might have removed some capacitors that uh, that weren't necessarily bad, you know. But it's always uh, it's always good. It's always good to to be uh, you know precautionary about these kind of things. So anyway, uh, these here are in fact the bad capacitors. So we'll continue on where we left off. And there, notice how they've got the explosion, the controlled explosion uh, vent up top. So we can grab those, twist those guys out right, right there like that. Yeah, and then where we go here is, is that most of them? I think, I think we got maybe these three guys here. One, two, three, right? And these are one, two, three. And then we remove all the caps. Oh, gosh. I'll remove all the caps. Oh. Uh, Normally the caps don't do that. Like normally they don't. Uh, normally they don't. They don't have this thing. But uh, okay, we'll keep removing the caps here. And these things, you don't. You don't have to really worry. About, if the caps happen to do this thing, you don't really have to worry about this. Here, it's driving me a little crazy. They're wobbling like that, but almost reminds me of the things behind the doors that go. But anyway, um, if the caps do that, you don't worry about it. You can cut that off if you want, or you can leave that hanging there like that. It doesn't really affect anything. But as you can see, there are no bad caps left on this board. So another successful cap, a cap uh, repair. Um, if you have any questions, by all means, um, don't let this kind of stuff uh, uh, stress you out. Tune in to our next video, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.